this video is to uh, show you how to install Windows Mobile Device Center as well as locate it on the web. Um, first things first, you'll need to uh, determine if your computer is a 32-bit or a 64-bit uh, PC. Two different ways to do that. You can go to your um, Windows icon and go to your control panel and go over to system and here it'll tell you system type 64-bit operating system okay that's one way uh, quicker way maybe is uh, go to Windows Explorer and just go over to your C drive and you'll notice program files if you have another folder called program files times 86 then you have a 64-bit machine otherwise if you just have program files it'll be a 32-bit system Okay, so now that you've determined um, what kind of unit you have, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to Chrome. You can go to Explore or whatever. So I'm going to go to Chrome, and I'm going to um, uh, type in um, searching Windows Mobile Device. And as you can see, this thing's already being populated. You could either go with 64 or 32-bit. Okay, I'm going to do the 64 and it's gonna you know obviously find some searches to do but um, I just want to show you one thing real quick make sure that wherever you go it's gonna be Microsoft.com site okay this is a description sorry description of Windows Mobile Device Center and it's a support page so now we're not interested in that we want the download itself um, this one is a 2RA5-download, blah, blah, blah. You do not want to get it from there. You do not want to get it from this location, etc. I'm not telling you where to do your shopping, if you will, but um, all we want is a Windows Mobile uh, Device Center driver from Microsoft.com. So that's where we'll go. And uh, this does refer to a 6.1 driver for Windows Vista. Um it doesn't matter for some reason they all say Vista uh, Windows 7 um, uh, Windows 8 etc it, it's not gonna say that it's just gonna say Vista 64 bit or 32 bits which you're gonna primarily find out there on your searches even though if you come back and you look here it said that it was uh, for Windows 7 where was that one right here uh, it says mobile device center automatically as you can see, WindowsCentral.com, Windows 7. Just be careful. They'll they'll mislead you, and it's not what you want. What you're wanting is Microsoft. Okay, so I'm going to go back in there. 64-bit. I'm going to go and download it. It's downloading. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, open it. Now press Yes to continue. Now all you need to do is uh, verify that um, Windows Mobile Device Center installed. Easiest way to do so is uh, go over to your Start button, click on it, and it should be here in the Windows Mobile Device Center uh, program list, or you can go to All Programs, and it, it'll be here. These are the individual items, and you've got, of course, your folders. Windows Mobile Device Center, click on it, and it ins it'll come normally in green uh, I've I've structured my window a little bit different and looks white but uh, this will be typically green and right now it doesn't uh, have anything hooked up um, you can do your connection settings uh, you know enable your Bluetooth what have you not really necessary with uh, with the TSC threes and such it, it it'll automatically find them through the through the USB but um, uh, this is uh, just to verify that it is running. Uh, there will be other videos uh, where uh, I will show you how to connect it to your data collector or or what have you. But for now, it's just verifying that you've installed Windows uh, Mobile Device Center. Thanks.